very good evening from the Anda Singapore. I'm in room 3302, a heritage view room with one king bed. It's a pretty nice room, a little bit tiny, but nothing too crazy. So as you come in the room here, and just to preface, the room is a little bit of a mess. This is the night before we check out, the third night of a three night stay. And uh, yeah, so when you come in, the left here is a little closet space area. There's a bunch of um, hangers to put your clothes if you need it. And a big space to put your bag. I have a really big bag and it fits it more than nice. Um, yeah, you have room on either side here as you can see. Over here you got your safe. Nice to have, of course, as always. Laundry, the prices are extravagant as expected. And then, um, yeah, some space. And more space down here to put your stuff. And also under there. You do have the complimentary shoe shining here, along with the bag that you need. And then the slippers are really funny. They're like sandals. And on the bottom, on the heel here, it says stolen from Anda Singapore. Another quirk of this hotel. I'm definitely gonna steal these. Anyway, the toilet is in a separate container or room here. You could close the door. And what's funny is there's a sink in here, but on the first night there was no towel. I put this here myself and there's still no soap. I mean, I need soap for the other sink so I can't like, you know, I guess I could break it in half, but. Anyway, the toilet's just basic, nothing fancy about it. You do have like the little wand thing, but I never really use that. And the flusher is on the side. Anyway, moving on. This is the shower. You got a rainfall shower head. Of course, the uh, side shower. And bath amenities are customized for Onda Singapore by Christophe Lademiel. I hadn't heard of him before, but he's a pretty prominent perfumer, looks like. And he made a scent just for this hotel, Singapore Fusion 19. Gotta say, it smells pretty good. Unfortunately, the shower is lacking in shower pressure, so that kind of ruins the experience. But it's okay, still nice. Um, not the biggest shower either, as you can see here, I'm standing on one side. Forgive my mismatched socks. Anyway, to the left of that is a single sink and a little like vanity makeup area for your, if you need to do that. There's no mirror besides this one. So you can see my girlfriend has her stuff laid out. Here's some like the toiletries that you have. Nice Onda Singapore boxes, very nice design. And then a single sink here. Of course, uh, that's the soap that they haven't replaced since the beginning. And then a circular mirror with the light around it. Some more of that lotion here mounted on the wall. Some hangers for robes and all that. And then we move to the main room. And I'm filming this at night, not used to it. But this is this looks like two beds that were combined to a single king bed which means it's huge, absolutely massive king bed. I think it could fit three people here probably if you wanted to. But anyway, you got a Bose speaker on the side, switches for all the lights here. And then unfortunately the power situation, you got two USB plugs, but there's no like, you know, those, like most modern hotels have the a uh, little adapter built into the switch here so you could just plug in whatever plug that you have no matter which country you're from. Some storage. Um, this is pretty cool. They're pretty big on sustainability here so they made this plastic bottle that you could use and take home to. Oh I forgot to mention they don't provide water here but they do provide this tap which is purified water and totally safe to drink. I've been using this and I really actually love that feature. Probably my favorite feature of the entire room. Anyway, moving on. Here's the view. It's a pretty terrible view. Um, you got these dots on the, on the window here so you can't actually see 
clearly through it unless it's the daytime and even then it's a little bit obscured. You got your telephone. All of the stuff can be um, ordered if you need it, like food or amenities or all that. Notepad, pen, and then you can control the blinds with this. Same power situation on the other side. So electronic blinds, that's a check. This little small sofa here slash chair to work on. And uh, this is basically the desk slash table area. Flat screen TV with Chromecast capability. And then here, this is our charging situation. I only got one adapter that I brought with me. Uh, you can also mirror HDMI stuff if you need to. Final part of the room tour here, the uh, mini bar area, coffee pods. They're not branded, but each one has its own distinct flavor here, outlined in this little uh, brochure. Nice espresso machine, um, tea kettle, teapot. One thing to note, mini bar at Ondas is always complimentary. This one's pretty well stocked. Their own in-house Ondas beer and a bunch of soft drinks, no alcohol. And also TWGT here. All right. Something to note about this hotel, there's a little lounge area where you could get some drinks and uh, snacks. Um, no alcohol, basically just tea, coffee, iced tea, uh, lemonade. Um, for free from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. I believe but This is an okay property. I mean the location is pretty good um, You're just a few stops from any direction you probably want to go to in Singapore But the service is pretty lacking and I had a pretty unpleasant um, Conversation with one of the Onda's employees which I'll outline if uh, I Get to that later. All right Thanks for watching. I don't really recommend this hotel. 